Before you start the next lesson on conversion from decimal to hexadecimal, we would like to prepare for you a couple of examples so you have a good understanding of how this works. Up here at the top, you'll notice we have the word hexadecimal, and here are the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and instead of the value of 10, which it is, we have the alphabet A, B, C, D, E, and F. Now the decimal equivalent is listed directly below it. However, what we want to do is on this side show you how to convert from hexadecimal to decimal. This side will use the same number and convert from decimal to hexadecimal. So we have a solid understanding. Looking over here on this side first, you'll notice we have the number 64, which is hexadecimal. Now the first number is to the power of 16, 0, which means simply any number here, in this example it's a 4, will be multiplied by a 1. If this had been a 7 or 8, it would have been multiplied by 1. This number, the second number, is to 16 to the first power. So that means this number will multiply 16 by that number. In this example, it's 6 times 16, which is equal to 96. However, if this were a 5, it would be 5 times 16, or a 4, or a 3, or a 2. But it's 6 in this example. Now, all you have to do is add these two numbers together. 96 plus 4 equals 100. So that's the decimal equivalent to um, the number... 64. Very quickly again, 64, the first number, you're going to have it go to the power of 0. So in this case, 4 times 1 equals 4. The second number, 6, six is going to go to the power of 1. So it'll be 16 times 6, which is 96. Add those two numbers together. Okay, remember the number is 100 because we want to use the same numbers. Now, the decimal is 100, step 1. 16, we must divide the number by 16 because we want to convert it to hexadecimal. 16 goes into 100 how many times? 6 times, so leave the 6 here. However, you must make sure you understand that 16 times 6 is 96. 100 minus 96 is a remainder of 4, right? Because here's 100 minus 96, remainder of 4. How many times does 16 go into 6? 0 times with the remainder of 6. So, the answer here is 64, right? If you look over here, that's the hexadecimal answer. Very quickly again, let's look at this. Step 1. Divide the number, the decimal number, by 16, right? How many times does 16 go, in, go into that number? 6 times. Now, subtract the remainder, which in this case is a 4, which is uh, 100 minus 96. How many times does 16 go into 6? Zero times, with a remainder of 6. So your number, the most significant digit, is 6. So your number here is 64, just like it shows you right here. Okay, 64 is the hexadecimal. 100 was the decimal. Okay, let's look at another example. Now, our next example is 24E. If you look carefully up here, we have hexadecimal, which we have our numbers we spoke of, but A is 10, B is 11, C is equal to 12, D is 13, E is 14, and F is 15. So we have 24E, okay, 240E. Now, let's look at the E. Now, we know E is equal to 14, so 16 is to the power of 0, so it's 14 times 1, or 14, okay? And the next one, we have 4 to 16 to the power of 1. So since this is a 4, 4 times 16 is 64. And the last one, we have 2 times 16 to the power of 2. So it's 256 times 2, or 512. We add up 512 plus 64 plus 14. We end up with 590, which is our decimal number. Now, let's slide that up here so we can see exactly what we're talking about when we convert from hexadecimal to decimal and decimal back again. Okay, step one. Since we're dealing with hexadecimal, we're going to divide 590 by 16. How, many, how often does 16 go into 590? 36 times. Leave the 36 here because there's a remainder. 
Here's the remainder. Uh, 16 times 36 is 576. So 590 minus 576 is 14. Look carefully. It's an E. Okay, so I, I have the number 14, but we also have the E here. So you know what's going on. Okay, 16 goes into 36. How many times? Twice. And what's the remainder? Well, 2 times 16 is 32 with a remainder of 4. 16 goes into 2, how many times? 0 times with a remainder of 2. So our number is 24E, just what you see right here. 24E is the hexadecimal number. Hopefully that made a lot of sense because it's uh, not really tricky, but it's nice if you know how to do decimal to hexadecimal. Just think about it. How many other people or how many other students know how to do this? And hopefully you'll do well on the lesson because it's pretty straightforward. Okay, here's your lesson. Lesson 3 on converting decimal base 10 to hexadecimal base 16. Now, we provided for you a table to make this a little bit easier. And you'll notice we provided for you five problems. And we also provided for you an area in which to work. Okay, so make sure you show your work. Okay, now, if you would... Please pause the video now, then play the video when you're done, and we will provide you with the answer. Pause the video now. Thank you. Well, welcome back. Let's see how well you did. Let's look at the first one. Well, the first one, 6 in hexadecimal is equal to, this is an easy one, here's hexadecimal, here's decimal, so it must be equal to 6, or 6 times 1. Okay, now the next one, number problem two, we have 130 in decimal, and what is it equal to in hexadecimal? Well, here you take 130 divided by 16, right, or 16 times, or 8 times 16, because it goes in there 8 times, 128. 130 minus 128 is 8, so you have a remainder of 2, and 16 can't go into 8, so your answer is 82. Let's look at 1C9 in hexadecimal, and what is it equal to? Okay, well, in hexadecimal, you'll notice it's converted to decimal is 457. Now, remember the first number, right, which is a 9, okay? 9 times 1 is 9, and then the second number is a C, and let's have it for C is a 12, right? So... 12 times 16 is 192, okay? And the last number, or the first one is number 1. 1 times uh, 16 squared is 256, or 16 to the power of 2. So, 256 plus 192 plus 9 equals 457. Okay, let's look at the next one. Here we're going to convert 235 in decimal to what's it equal to in hexadecimal. Well, we got 235 divided by 16, right? Or how many times does 16 go into 235? Well, it goes in 14 times, and your answer is 224. Now, 235 minus 224 is a remainder of 11. Let's look up here. 11 is the letter B, okay? Can 16 go into 14? No, it can't. So we have remainder of 14, which is, I mean E, which is... 14. So your answer is EB. Okay, and let's look at the last one. Here we have AB in hexadecimal. What is it equal to in decimal? Okay, well, it's going to be 171. And how do we figure that out? Well, B, if you look up here, B is equal to 11, right? And A is equal to 10. So B is 11 times 1 is 11. And A, which is 16 times 10, is 160. 160 plus 11 equals 171. Hopefully you got all of these correct. And we'd like to thank you for watching our video.